Hi everyone, um, my name is Karen Rubin, I'm the Mayor of the Town of Gawler and I have with me the acting CEO Andrew Goodsell who is, we are going to have a chat about what's happening in 224. So this is the first video for 224, so uh, I think I think we'll get cracking and I'm going to ask Andrew what's happening at um, Pub Ethan. It's been an exciting time in 2023. We've had quite an insignificant investment in the diamond uh, for the baseball. We've had the irrigation, turf. Uh, there's been the, the backstops, the, uh, the lighting, um, a range of out outcomes there, which I think have uh, created a significant uh, asset for the community. And it's an exciting time moving forward. Certainly in 2024, there'll be more work done. There'll be the modular change rooms. There will also be work on the soccer pitch um, and we'll see largely the community council made delivered in the new financial year. Yeah, I, th I think it's going to be really exciting here at Cup Eaton. Uh, the soccer club is really excited. Uh, the baseball club, they think they've got the best diamond in the state and I think they're right. And the softball behind us is is really, really coming along. So I think I think it's going to look fantastic. We've got the Corellas behind us, so you can hear the Corellas. Um, so Reed Reserve, Reed Reserve is starting in March 224. We uh, were fortunate enough to get a community infrastructure grant from the South Australian government, and uh, that's that's going to be a fabulous playground, a neighbourhood playground in Reed. Uh, I, th I, think, I think it's going to be really good. It have lots of different activity centres there and I, I, I just think it's going to be fabulous for that local community. And they've been waiting a long time for this, um, this playground, so uh, I, I'm really looking forward to see how, how it's going to shape up. So I think I think that's fantastic. In 2024, we've got the Gawain District Netball Court redevelopment. We've got 10 new courts being developed, significant investment in parking and other facilities on site. Uh, we should also acknowledge the Melanousis government for the $4.8 million grant, which has made this possible. And we think this is a timely and significant investment for the community, which will uh, have a legacy outcome, we believe. I, th I think the, the Netball Association is going to be really, really excited about uh, this redevelopment. They've been waiting a long, 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 long time and they've been very patient and I think it's finally going to happen. So I'm going to talk about participatory budgeting. Participatory budgeting, we, we, we've done this over the last few years and we've, got, we've, we've been able to get some really good outcomes. You, the community, can um, put up projects that uh, are worth around about twenty thousand dollars, and we've we've had the Williston drainage system in in between Davy Street and Princess Street, and that's going to be a rewilding uh, exercise here in in two twenty four, and we will have a real beautiful rain garden there because it is a stormwater catchment area, uh, and I, I think it's going to be fantastic. So, and also at um, Humphrey George Reserve, there's, there's also going to be uh, improvements there. So I think, I think participatory budgeting, you get involved, you decide where we, where we have uh, improvements around the town and I, I just think it's fantastic. So it really gets the community involved and uh, it, it's a fabulous initiative. Um, we've got Australia Day breakfast coming up on the 26th of January and on the 16th of February we've got our Fringe opening event. So please come along to that and uh, we've got lots of things happening uh, in early to, early 224 and I, I think the Fringe program is going to be, fab, again, fabulous. So I think that's all we're going to talk about today, Andrew. Yep, so. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.